I'm Dan Galusha, and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. We're going to have something a little bit different today. Of course, we've had knives in the past, but usually if we have an unboxing, which we're having today, I have one set of knives. we got three this time. And the only thing I've opened is just this box here, because I didn't want to start doing an unboxing thinking that it's knives, and I open it up and it's something like underwear, you know. <laughs> you just you're not going to do that anyway inside of here there are three sets of knives they're from a company called throw club now the throw is spelled t-h-r-w they knocked the o out of the throw um not sure why it's spelled that way but it is it's called throw club and we've got three sets like i said we got one is called venus one is a frigid sword and another is a shadow the crazy thing is is they don't mark that on here so we're going to be surprised out of every box that i open or actually i think a couple of them are in bag so let's start unboxing uh let's start with the one that is in a box we'll see what we got here there it is right there like i said throw club so uh they're all 10 inch knives. I do know that. Right around 10. I think a couple of them might be 10.1, something like that. But they're all right around 10. So we'll pop that open. Well, nice case. I can see that. Let's see what else we got. That's not a not bad case. Kind of like that. Uh, I don't know if that's, that's a sharp point. We got all the knives packed over here, but there's a spot here to put one. Let's see if it fits. They're still wrapped. Yeah, okay. So you'll have one here, and it looks like then you got your two spares in the back. So this would be a quick, that'd be nice. I mean, that'd be a good one to carry like that. Um, let's take a look at one of these. And this one is the Venus. I know that by just looking at it. It's nicely shaped. It's very different in the feel already uh, like I said this is you can tell this is definitely an unboxing uh, there we go a very nice shape <laughs> well shaped how is it going to throw I don't know a very sharp edge to it uh, definite a no spin as you can tell right here the way it is I would say this one could be a good half spin too um now this, you might be able to choke up some if you have to. We're going to find out in another, because we're going to be doing a review on every one of these knives. But I'm just unboxing them right now. Um, boy, I'm anxious to throw that. But we're going to hold off and wait. And let's see, put that one back in here. We'll stick that in here. This ought to go in here a lot better now. Again, this is the Venus. Now we're going to see what the others are. And like I said, unfortunately, they're not in boxes. They're in a bag. Here's one here. We'll get this open. Oh, at least they open easy. And similar case, actually. I don't know which one this is, though. Now this one's already in that other area. This one is the uh, frigid sword, I think. Yeah, this is a frigid sword. So we'll get that out of there so you can see it. That now that's definitely a no spin because it's got the arrow type spike design. Uh, it's even got a little spot right here that I kind of like for no throw or no spin at certain distances. Uh, we might have to choke up a little bit like that on it. Again, this is going to be one of those things that we're going to be doing when we do the review on it. But uh, this is the Frigid Sword. I like that. So far, I've liked both of these. Uh, really, really anxious to throw them, see what they're going to do. It's going to be a good uh, review on these. Okay, it's that one. So we know the next one is the shadow. Unless we get a surprise. 
Hope this one's just as easy to open. Eh, seems like it. Maybe. Glue's right down there. There we go. I can tell by the shape. Each one of these cases, now here's a nice thing that I've noticed. Each one of these cases are going to be very good for carrying. But they're also designed for these knives. It's not one of these coverall cases like you've seen where you can stick several of them in there. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, this is this is definitely this is no spin, without a doubt. Uh, get this out of here, maybe. Let's see what we got. There we go. That is definitely a no spin knife. I mean, take a look at that thing. Very light, though. I mean, this one just seems lighter than the other. It's also handle heavy. Look at that. We're gonna have to see how this actually does for no spin, but that is what that's made for. Definitely a no spin knife. Uh, very impressed with it. Look at the point on that thing. Jeez. Anyway, you got to see the three knives. We did the unboxing on them. They're throw club, like I said, and there's they they put their little logo. You can see that right down there. Uh, but they don't put the names anywhere on them. Not even on the boxes or the labels. Which is no big deal. You just got to know what you're getting. But uh, I've seen where they've got deals on these. Where you can get like two different models. In other words, you could get a Shadow along with a Venus. And then you get kind of, I think, a better deal on them. But uh, and a very thick tang all the way down the line. So that's going to be good for for no spin it just depends on the weight again they're, they're all right around 10 ounces and they're all right around six little slightly over six i don't know uh because you know my way that i like them they're one on one in other words if they're 10 inches i like to see them as close to 10 ounces as possible so going down to eight is really getting edgy going to six i don't know especially for a longer distance no spin uh, well, we'll find out because like I said, we're going to be doing a review on each one of these and today we did the box opening on all three. So until next time, shoot safe, throw safe in this situation and have a great day of blanking.